Hey guys, it's Holbert in Muffin Group. In this tutorial, I would like to take a closer look at the element we've added in latest 27.4 version, Hotspot. A great element that will certainly bring a lot of freshness to your projects. So let's not waste the time and get down to the specifics. I will start by explaining what a hotspot is. A hotspot focuses on helping you create interactive images that can help you highlight relevant information, boost engagement, and increase conversions for your website. This B-Builder element contains a lot of options and I would like to explain them in this tutorial. Let's switch the B-Builder then. At first glance, we have a photo of the apartment with all the equipment. The image has been uploaded by using first option under hotspot settings. It's an option that opens media library where from you can choose the right image. For this one, I used pulse marker animation, but you can switch between different ones like default, where you just see point with no animation, scale and bounce. The next option is content animation, where you can switch between the default one and fade in. For this hotspot, I use default, but if you want points to fade in on load, you can switch to fade in. The next option is point style. For this hotspot, I use default, but later I will show you the difference between the default and lines. As you can see, below I have already added 5 points. Let's check the settings for point 1. You can choose it from the list of points in the sidebar or by clicking the right point itself on the image. First option is Type, where you can switch between default, icon and text. As soon as I switch to icon, I can set my own icon instead of point. Let's set an icon then and as you can see, the icon has appeared in point 1. We can also switch to text and then, instead of point, we can display any text we like. Ok, let's get back to default. The next option is Y axis. Here we can choose if you want to set point position from the bottom or top. The next one is X axis. Works similar to previous option, but here you can decide if you want to set point position from left or right. We determine the position of the marker as a percentage of the width or height, and by moving the slider we can see the changes immediately in the preview. The next one is content position. If I will click on the point itself, you're gonna see the box with content which is in the field underneath. Here we can switch between top, left, bottom and right position. The next option is link. Here we can put the link so if you will click on the hotspot point itself, it will take you to the page you set the link for in this field. Next one is link target, where you can choose if you want to open link in the same window or a new one. Next option is link title. And the last one is content. It's text area where you can use plain text, raw HTML, dynamics and shortcuts to style the content which pops up on the hotspot point click. For this element, just like for any other, you have style and advanced tabs available where you can adjust colors, backgrounds and much more. Let's add new hotspot point on pillows next to the paint on the right. As they are located on the right side, I have to switch X axis from left to right. Now I can grab the slider and set its position. 21 seems to be fine. Now let's grab Y axis and slide from the top to adjust its position. Perfect. The point is now on the pillows. And now we can set whatever we like for this point like the link, content, its position, etc. It's worth to be mentioned here that we made this element fully responsive. Most options are equipped with functions for setting individual values for individual devices. Now we can move to the next hotspot with the car, where I would like to show you how to add such lines with text box. The most important thing here is to switch point style from the default to lines. And now, if we open first point, you will notice few different fields than when we've been using default style. First of all, for the point, text type has to be set 
if you want that smooth text fill at the end of the line. Rest of the options is similar to default style except two options, line offset top and line offset left. Using both options, you can adjust line and text box position. To change line start point, you have to use Y and X axis sliders, just line exactly the same as in the case of the default style. At this point, I must draw attention to one important thing. If we use the line point style, there is no possibility to display content on point hover or click on smaller devices, just like in case of the default style. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked this video and from now on, you would be using hotspot element in your projects. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.